Hi, fifth graders, Mrs. Blackburn here. We're going to use a routine to help you study and spell new words. That's your learning goal. Your success criteria will be if you can accurately spell new words using this new study routine. So let's go ahead and begin. Like I said, um, we're going to use this new study routine. It's called look, say, cover, write, and check. So let's say that together. Look, say, cover, write, and check. Very good. Now you can take a regular piece of notebook paper and do this with me. What you're simply going to do is take the piece of paper and fold it to the center and then fold the other half over the side and then go ahead and crease it like that. If you want to pause or rewind the video you can do that so you can see me do that again. Fold it in the center and then fold it again and then that way it's a trifold. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the word. So we're going to use some words that we used last week when we were breaking words into syllables. So we'll look at the word very closely. We'll look at the amount of syllables, we'll look at the shape of the word and try to memorize it and how it's spelled. So the next thing we do is we say the word, breakable, breakable. Try and commit that to our memory. Now, we're going to cover that up. So let's go ahead and cover that word up. So that's where we can just flip it over. Now, on this column over here, we're going to write the word. It's really important to write the word because when you see it with your eyes, and you say it with your mouth, and then you write it, it also, it helps it stay in your long-term memory. That's why we're doing these things. So I think it was break R, break, now when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, break, a bull. And I know last week we learned about the a bull suffix and how it was spelled. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to look at it. Okay, so I looked at it. I said the word. I covered it up. I wrote it down. That's how I think it's spelled. Now I'm going to uncover it and check and see if I spelled it right. Let's see. E-B-R-R-E-E-A-A-K-K-A-A-B-B-L-L-E-E. -B -B -E -E. Okay, I did spell it correctly, so good job for me. Now, um, this is the routine. We look at the word, we say the word, we cover it, we write it, and we check. Now, this is what you do with words that you don't know how to spell. If you knew how to spell breakable, you'll want to pick five words with the same routine of, that you do not know how to spell. Where could you find these five words? Well, you could look in perhaps a book that you're reading. If it's a right fit book, there should be some words in there that you don't know. You could look in a dictionary. You could look in a thesaurus. Those are great places that you could look to find words that you do not know how to spell. Write them down on your piece of paper and do the same thing. So let's practice again. Let's use this word. Okay, so the first thing we do is we look at the word. So look at it closely and study it for a minute. Look at the shape of the word. Try and see anything that would be unusual about the spelling. Okay, now we're going to say it. Usable. Usable. It's important to read it as well. Usable. Okay. Now, I'm going to cover it up. Put that flap over it so I don't cheat and don't look at it. I'm going to write it over here. Usable. Usable. 
Okay, that's how I think you spell usable, but I'm not really sure. So now I wrote it down. Now I'm going to check. Let's check and see if I'm right. You, oh, sounds like a U, but I sure was wrong, wasn't I? It doesn't start with a Y at all, does it? It starts with a U. So now I need to make the correction. Usable. That's a U. Mrs. Blackburn, what were you thinking? S. Then it's an A, B, L, E. Usable. So even though it sounds almost like a y, it's actually the U. Usable. It's a long U sound. Usable. Okay. So it's really important that we do that final step. So this study routine is quite simple. It gets quite fast the more you do it. You look at the word, you say the word, you cover it up, you write the word, and then you look back and check and then make any corrections. So if you have someone that you could do this with, it's great fun to um, look at the word, say the word, cover it up, write it down, and then you check and make corrections and then have them check and make corrections um, as well. So that would be a great thing to do with a partner or as a partner activity. You will also have a puzzle piece to complete with this um, uh, study routine as well. So um, make sure that you pick when you are um, doing this at home, that you pick five words that you do not know so that you can expand your vocabulary and expand the words that you are learning how to spell. All right, good luck with everything you do. And don't forget to message your teachers or ask questions if you have any at all. Thank you very much and have a great day.